good afternoon in today's session we'll discuss about dynamic filters in ssrs or applying or creating parameters in ssrs for example if you take this report we are having a data source we are having a data set in the data set we have specified where depart number equal to 10 so you execute this report for n number of times every time it shows only department 10 but the client is saying that i want to view maybe department 10 details or maybe 20 or maybe a 30 he is specifying that i'm not sure that i'll view only department 10 i may require even 20 or 30 so then how do you design that program means create a new report add new item report dynamic filter or use as a parameter applying parameters so dynamic filters can be applied with the help of parameters dynamic filters are ap are applied with the help of parameters that is define condition at the data set at the data set by using a parameter by using a parameter so whenever a data set is having a parameter it will ask you value at the runtime if any parameter is used in the data set then at runtime it will prompt the value it will prompt the value so you specify the value at runtime and then based on that view the output so create a report dynamic filter name um, provide the name click on add data sources add data source provide some data source name ds underscore source sql server edit provide the server name select the database for example source test connection ok ok click on ok button then data sets add data set provide the data set name select use a data set in my report embedded in my report select the data source write the query select star emp dot star from emp where department number is equal to at the rate dnvo now what is at the rate dnvo means it is nothing but a parameter so here at the rate sim represents that it is a parameter means it is saying that the value is coming at the run time it is not the design time value simply click on ok button then perform right click on your report layout insert table drag the fields here like for example depart number i am making as a grouped element so put it under the row groups next job under the row groups next employee number employee name salary and commission
now preview the report save and preview we have created a we are using a parameter under a data set so when you preview it will ask you or it will prompt the department number so it is saying dno some text box we got some type some value here for example as a 10 click on view report it's showing only 10 data now if client says that i want to view department 20 fine not a problem in the text box you change this value as a 20 and you click on view report it's showing me the 20 related data so which are the department number you are entering that related output it is displaying here so that means our report became as a dynamic so depending whatever the number you are entering at the runtime based on that it is showing the output so this is what implementing a parameters are creating dynamic filters so it is prompting the value at runtime depending on that it is trying to display the output now this parameter what you are giving here it is as per sql server syntax you have to say at the rate dno but if you are working with respect of any other database what is the syntax you are having in that respect to database you have to follow that it is not like it is an universal syntax for all types of databases this parameter syntax is based purely on your sql server So I'll show one example even on Oracle database with this parameter because I am saying that you should not use at the rate DNO or something like that. So how to work with this Oracle database? So as the services are down, I'm start the services. We are starting the Oracle services. So once the services started, we'll try to work with this Oracle database. So services started. I'm going with Oracle database application development SQL plus. Here my username is a Scott. Password is Tiger. And my host string is WarCL. And here I'm having a set of tables. Like I'm having a table called as an EMP and DPT. I'll try to use the table called as an EMP. So this table is consisting of the set of columns like depart number, for example, employee number, employee name from EMP. This is the data what I'm having. So this table, I'll use it here to fetch the data. So I'm creating a new report add a new item a report dynamic filter but with respect to oracle database add data sources add a data source now i'm giving the data source name as ds underscore oracle database embedded connection database is oracle connection string click on edit my server name is warcl my username is a scott password is a tiger click on test connection it is saying succeeded ok click on ok data source is ready we will go with the right click add data set data set is ds underscore emp use a data set embedded in my report that choose the data source and write the query so i'm saying select star from 
एम पी वेर डी पी टी एन ओ इज इक्वल टू एट द रेट डी एन ओ बट एट द रेट डी एन ओ इज सूटबल ओनली फॉर सीक्वल सर्वर नॉट फॉर वराकल डेटा बेस नॉट फॉर वराकल डेटा बेस सो इफ यू ट्राई टू क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन इट इज गिविंग मी एन एर verify that you can connect to data source and that syntax is correct so this is not valid then how do you create a parameter if you working with oracle source means you should use colon instead of at the rate symbol use colon colon d and o click on okay that is accepted now then it remaining steps are similar to the for any database perform right click in the report layout insert table add the fields like depart number onto the row groups job onto the row groups and remaining fields employee number employee name salary preview the report it is asking for depart number which are the depart number you entered based on that it displays the data for example department 30 view report it showing the 30 related details if you say 20 it is showing the 20 related details so whether it is a sql server or oracle doesn't matter any report is same only thing in when you are defining the data set if it is oracle you have to use colon if it is a sql server you have to use at the rate symbol so this is about a dynamic filter or a parameter you are prompting value at the run time and based on that your report output is generated thank you